Hello. I'm having a lot of difficulty breathing. I've been having a lot of pain in my left left leg. And then today I just abruptly became very short of breath. And it's very difficult to breathe. So we decided to come into the emergency department. It's a possibility I might have a blood, blood clot in my lung. I've been through triage and now I am waiting to see the doctor. That's a bit of an update. Bye for now. Hello. The doctor has been here. He decided he's going to run some blood tests, order a chest x-ray, have me go down to ultrasound to get an ultrasound of my leg to make sure I don't have a deep vein thrombosis. And then he said he would check back with me and see how everything is going. I'm most likely going to be admitted to the hospital um, because I have an iodine allergy. They cannot do a CT scan with iodine. This is usually done to rule out a pulmonary embolism. Instead, I have to have a VQ scan, and that's done with nuclear radiology. I'm not sure it's the weekend. I'm not sure if they work on the weekend. But in the meantime, the doctor said, I probably have to be admitted because it's going to take a while to get the VQ scan done. So that's a bit of an update. Bye, bye for now. Hello again. They, they drew, drew blood and they took me down to ultrasound. I also had a chest x-ray. I don't know the results of the chest x-ray, but the ultrasound said there was no deep vein thrombosis or no deep vein blood clot in my left leg. So, so, so that's good. The blood results came back. My D-dimer is high. D-dimer is a non-specific blood test, which tests for blood clots. Um, so this was high, so it seems like there is a blood clot somewhere. The doctor said he's put in a room for me in the hospital. However, he doesn't know when I'll get a room because it's the weekend and the hospital is quite full. So again, we are still waiting for that VQ scan. And the doctor does not know if they'll be able to do it tomorrow or the next day. He's really not sure. And he said that's going to be left up to the hospital team because now I'm being admitted to the hospital and being transferred to the hospital team. So that's a bit of an update. Bye, bye for now. Hello. It's been seven hours since I last updated. I am still here in the emergency department. It's getting quite late. It's about 9.45 p.m. I am losing hope. I will get a room yet today. You never know. There might be a miracle. And I might get a room. <laughs> but it's most likely I'm going to be spending the night here in the emergency department. <sighs> As you can see, it is still really hard to breathe. I was given an injection of Lovenox. This helps to 
break up B blood blood clots. I hope and pray it works. It works fast. Because I am really miserable. Okay. Well, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining me. And I hope the next time I update, I'm in a hospital room. Bye. Good morning. I have a room. I got a room at 4.20 this morning. They took me up here. Now I'm getting settled in. They still need to, to, to register me. And then maybe I might be able to get some sleep. It's almost 5 a.m. And soon, I'm sure, everybody's going to start rounding and all that jazz. So that's a bit of an update. Bye for now. Good morning. Hey, I made it. It's 9 a.m. Don't I look bright and cheery-eyed? Uh, yes, I did my hair, and so now my hair looks good. If only the rest of me looked and felt as good as my hair. Let me tell you about my night. So things were very, very busy in the ER till about midnight. Finally around 1 a.m. I was getting ready to finally go to sleep. And then my nurse comes in. I don't remember why she came in. She came in. So sometime between 1 and 2 o'clock, I believe I might have drifted off to sleep. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't, I don't remember. 2 a.m., respiratory comes in and they say, hey, what size is your tracheostomy tube? And I'm like, you have to ask me that at two o'clock in the morning, but they did. Ah. So once that person left, then at three o'clock, a different respiratory therapist came in and was like, what's the size of your tracheostomy tube? And I'm like, go ask that other guy. So he figures that out. Then at 3.30, respiratory therapist comes back and says, hey, what are your ventilator settings? And I'm going, hey, you couldn't have asked me that at 3 o'clock, or the other guy couldn't ask me at 2 o'clock, or you couldn't have asked me that when I first came in. No, no, no. 3.30. 4 o'clock, respiratory therapist comes back in. Do you need suction? So I was like, no, no, I, I just need some sleep. 4.20, they came in, and I was not in a very good mood at that moment but hey I was informed I was coming up here so I got up here about 4 30 then they checked me in about 4 45 5 o'clock somewhere in there and then the nurse sort of told me she needed to come back she had to do some more paperwork and I waited and I waited and I waited finally at, at 5 30 she came back with the rest of the paperwork so I was like okay I'm going to get some sleep, huh? Yeah, no, not happening because I fell asleep for about five minutes and then 6.05, the medical assistant goes, hey, just letting you know I'm leaving. And I'm like, just letting you know I don't care. <laughs> and so she introduced the other medical assistant. And then at 6.30, respiratory comes in and they check my machine and check my vitals to make sure I'm still alive. Seven o'clock, my vitals are again checked. 7.15, I informed that the nurse is now leaving, and hey, this is your new replacement nurse. Isn't this wonderful? Huh. 
room service comes with my food, which, hooray, I can't eat any of it anyway, so just let me sleep. Then 8 o'clock, the nurse comes in and says, hey, are you diabetic? And I said, hey, I'm not. And she goes, oh, okay, we won't check your blood sugar. And I'm like, well, that's, that's great, thanks. Just leave me alone, please. And then at 8.30... Hello, I am back. I got interrupted while filming about all the interruptions I've been having. How ironic. Oh my goodness. Let me keep going with my story now. At 8.30, laboratory came, did blood work. 8.45, the charge nurse came. He wanted to do a, cult a culture of my pick line. They tried doing a culture last night in the ER and it did not work. My line refuses to donate blood. It's very finicky and it has not given blood in about five or six months. So the charge nurse said, well, I'll try it once more and if we can't make it work, he'll give me an anticoagulant called cath flow into the pick line and try to make that work and I really didn't want that. Anyways, an, an incredible miracle happened this morning. He went to, to withdraw blood and blood withdrew. Oh, oh, that was incredible. I was like, huh, I have never seen blood come out of that in about six months. <laughs> so after he left, and it was nine o'clock, food service came to pick up the tray of food. Then I attempted to film this and then my nurse came in. She gave me my morning meds. And the one med I really needed was Lovenox. But she did not have that medicine because it's been in pharmacy since 6.30. They've been trying to get it. And I don't know. There's been issues with getting it to pharmacy. So there was about a three-hour delay with that. But she did inform me that nuclear medicine where I get the BQ scan seems to be closed today. Mm, not good. If they're closed, I can't get the VQ scan. And I was told this sort of in the ER. They didn't think they were open today. And then the charge nurse, nurse did not think the nuclear medicine was open today. The nurse even called down and she can't get anybody in nuclear medicine. So the assumption has been made nuclear medicine is closed and they'll reopen tomorrow. Oh, so I get to spend another day here. Oh, so excited. Anyways, I tried to film this again, but then, hallelujah, my Lovenox arrived. Oh, I got the bee sting in my belly. Oh, it's so lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, but I know it's helping with the clots because my breathing is much better. Then again, I tried to film this. And then housekeeping came and the woman spoke to me in Spanish. And I was like, oh, okay. She's like, buenos dias. And I'm like, buenos dias. Yeah, that's right, people. I am not multilingual. <laughs> but she thought she, she thought I was. And so she asked me in Spanish if she could take out the trash. And I was like, si, si, claro, claro que si. Yeah, I believe it's so. <laughs> Anyways, then she left. And then I was like, this is it. I'm going to film the rest of this update. And then the, ch the pastoral chaplain came in and yes, she did a beautiful prayer. So I'm very thankful for that. And she gave me a beautiful scripture from Deuteronomy. Do not be, do not be afraid or be dismayed. The Lord is with you wherever you go. Ah, oh, lovely. Anyways, so we are now at 10 a.m. And maybe the interruptions will stop, but why stop now? <laughs> I'm so sleep deprived. <laughs> okay, well that is my big giant update. And I hope I get some sleep tonight because I'm really tired. It is tiring being a patient. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll update later. Bye. Hello, guess what? It's now nighttime. Ah, yes, that means I get to go to sleep. 
officially. <laughs> this morning was just a long parade of people in my room. <laughs> Even after I stopped filming, people kept coming until about 12, 31 o'clock. My mom came to visit me. Thank you, Mommy. Anyways, she came a little after 1 o'clock, and then nobody was in my room. She left about 4 o'clock, so for three hours, nobody was in my room except my mommy. And then, almost as soon as she left, then people were back in my room. <laughs> oh. This evening, about 5.30, my tracheostomy tube clogged with mucus. It was really difficult to breathe, so I ripped it out. I unplugged it with an obturator and shoved it back in. So that was fun, but now my tracheostomy tube is clean and clear and free of mucus. Oh, how wonderful. And as you probably can see, I have also have better breathing, so my respiratory rate has significantly decreased as I'm getting more and more Lovenox, which breaks up the blood clots. My breathing is getting better and better and better. I'm so excited. I also took a two-hour nap earlier because, what can I say, I was really tired, and I'm still really tired. So now it's about 11.15. It is now officially time for me to go to bed because I am going to fall asleep. They said tomorrow they're going to try to get me first thing in the morning down to nuclear medicine to do the VQ scan. And if that's normal, then I'm going to be discharged home. Uh, yay. All right. That's a bit of an update. Bye for now. Good morning. I am so happy to report I got some sleep last night. Nobody bothered me from about 11 o'clock last night until about 6, 6.30 this morning. So I had about seven hours, seven and a half hours of not being interrupted. And during that time, I got about six hours of sleep. Oh. What woke me up this morning was my TPM pump was beeping because the batteries were low. That was a bummer, but you know, my body was like, hey, you got some sleep, time to wake up. <laughs> oh, so this morning, what did I do? Well, I brushed my hair, or tried to. I don't have a brush, so I just, you know, kind of did the best I could. <laughs> and then I got taken down to the VQ scan. At the VQ scan, they just injected some radioactive dye into me, had this machine spin around me, and then I got to wait about a half an hour for transport to pick me up. Then I got back up here, and then I got some more Lovenox. Yay! And let's see what else. Mm, I did some YouTube editing, and now I'm just waiting for the doctor to get results. I looked at my scan while I was down there, and I was like, hmm, it looks normal, probably. And the doctor, uh, needs to come in and confirm that, and if my VQ scan was normal, I get to go home. Ah, yes. That would be grand and lovely. So that is a bit of an update. Bye for now. Hello. Guess what? I have been discharged. Yay! It's exciting. The doctor was here. She said the VQ scan was normal. She thought since I was having such bad shortness of breath and it inc improved taking the anticoagulant Lovenox that I either um, had one tiny small blood clot or maybe multiple small blood clots and that was causing the issue and the Lovenox has broken them up and um, is continuing to um, make it easier for me to breathe so she did not think there was any reason to keep me here any longer and she thought I could go home all I need to do is follow up with my doctor and yeah and enjoy my day <laughs> yay I'm so excited so now I get get to change out of this beautiful my beautiful green gown oh the best time of my day of my hospital admission is changing into street clothes. It's so exciting. So thank you so much for joining me on this grand adventure of shortness of breath, blood clots, going to the emergency department, 
all that jazz, waiting in the emergency department, coming to a hospital room, getting a VQ scan, blood work, chest x-ray. Oh, it has been swell. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.